Welcome back to Cyber World YT Like and subscribe if you are new here for amazing cybersecurity and ethical hacking related content. Today we're diving headfirst into the exciting world of ethical hacking with 10 beginner friendly projects that will have you feeling like a cybersecurity pro in no time. Now, before we get started, massive disclaimer here everything we're doing in this video is for educational purposes only. Ethical hacking is all about responsible disclosure and working within legal boundaries. Never try this on systems you don't own or without proper authorization. If you're ready to learn some seriously cool skills and level up your cybersecurity game, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future cybersecurity and ethical hacking content. Let's get started. Let's kick things off with a cybersecurity fundamental network scanning using Nmap. This powerful tool lets you explore your network like a digital detective, uncovering devices and services, identify connected devices, see open ports, and figure out running services. It's like having X-ray vision for your network. We'll show you how to run simple scans and interpret the results. By the end, you'll map out your network like a pro. Time to turn our attention to Wi-Fi security, or should I say, insecurity. In this chapter, we're going to put your own Wi-Fi network to the test using tools like Aircrack Ang and Wi-Fi WPS WPA Tester. Don't worry, we're not advocating for any illegal activities here. The goal is to help you understand the strengths and weaknesses of different Wi-Fi security protocols like WEP, WPA, and WPA2. We'll show you how these tools can be used to attempt cracking passwords, and exploiting vulnerabilities. You'll learn how easy or difficult it is to break into different types of Wi-Fi networks. By the end of this chapter, you'll have a much deeper understanding of how to secure your own Wi-Fi and protect yourself from unwanted guests on your network. Let's face it, passwords are the bane of our digital existence, but they're also the first line of defense against unauthorized access. In this chapter, we're going to crack some passwords. Don't worry, we're not going after your Facebook account. Unless you want us to, just kidding. Kind of. We'll be using John the Ripper to perform brute force attacks on password hashes. You'll learn what password hashes are, how they're generated, and how brute force attacks work. We'll experiment with different attack methods and see how long it takes to crack passwords of varying complexity. This chapter is all about understanding the importance of strong, unique passwords and how to create them. You'll never look at a password the same way again. The internet is a vast and wonderful place, but it's also crawling with security vulnerabilities. In this chapter, we'll learn how to scan websites for common weaknesses. Using tools like OWASP, Zap, and Nikto, we'll uncover vulnerabilities like open directories, SQL injection flaws, and cross-site scripting, or XSSS, vulnerabilities. You'll learn to scan websites and interpret the results. We'll also discuss the ethical implications and responsible disclosure. This chapter is a great introduction to web application security and penetration testing. Remember SQL injection from the last chapter? Well, it's time to get our hands dirty and see how it works in practice. Don't worry, we'll be using a safe and legal environment for this. We'll set up a test environment with a vulnerable web application like Damn Vulnerable Web Application or DVWA and use SQL Map to perform SQL injection attacks. You'll learn how to craft malicious SQL queries to bypass authentication, extract data from the database, and even potentially take control of the web server. It's like being a hacker in a movie, but without the illegal part. This chapter is all about understanding how SQL injection works, how to prevent it, and how to protect yourself from it. It's a must-know for anyone interested in web application security. This chapter is where things get a little more... interesting. We're going to build our very own keylogger. But before you freak out, remember everything we're doing here is for educational purposes only. We'll be using Python or C++ to create a simple keylogger that can record keystrokes on your own system. We'll discuss the ethical implications of keylogging and how it can be used for both good and bad purposes. You'll learn how keyloggers work, how they can be detected, and how to protect yourself from them. This chapter is not for the faint of heart, 
but it's a fascinating look into the world of system monitoring and cybersecurity. Chapter 7. Exploring Fishing Techniques Time to put on our social engineering hats and dive into the world of phishing. In this chapter, we'll learn how attackers trick users into giving up sensitive information. We'll be using tools like the Social Engineering Toolkit, often called SET, and GoFish to create fake websites, emails, and other phishing lures. But don't worry, we'll only be targeting ourselves in a controlled environment. You'll learn how to spot phishing attacks, how to protect yourself from them, and how to educate others about this ever-growing threat. This chapter is a must-watch for anyone who uses the internet, which, well, is pretty much everyone. Remember those password hashes we talked about earlier? Well, it's time to crack some more. But this time, we're going old school. We'll be using tools like Hashcat and John the Ripper to crack simple password hashes like MD5 and SHA-1. These older hashing algorithms are considered weak by today's standards, but they're a great way to learn the basics of hash cracking. You'll learn how these hashing algorithms work, how they can be exploited, and why it's so important to use strong, modern hashing algorithms for password storage. This chapter is a fun and challenging way to learn about cryptography and password security. Ever feel like someone's watching your every move online? In this chapter, we're going to simulate a man-in-the-middle MITM attack to see how attackers can intercept and eavesdrop on network traffic. We'll be using tools like Wireshark and Etacap to intercept and analyze unencrypted network traffic on our own network. You'll learn how MITM attacks work, how to detect them, and how to protect yourself from them. We'll discuss the dangers of using public Wi-Fi networks and how a VPN can help protect your privacy. This chapter is a real eye-opener and will make you think twice about what you do on public Wi-Fi. Get ready for the grand finale. In this chapter, we're going full-on penetration tester and using Metasploit to exploit vulnerabilities in a controlled environment. Metasploit is a powerful framework that allows you to simulate real-world attacks and test the security of your systems. We'll be using it to exploit vulnerabilities in vulnerable systems or devices all within a safe and legal environment, of course. You'll learn how to use Metasploit to find exploits, launch attacks, and gain access to target systems. This chapter is the culmination of everything you've learned throughout this video, and will give you a taste of what it's like to be a real penetration tester. So there you have it, folks. 10 beginner-friendly hacking projects to kickstart your cybersecurity journey. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two and had some fun, but remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. So keep learning and keep your skills sharp. Subscribe to CyberWorldYT and hit that notification bell. Stay safe out there and keep on hacking.